Welcome back to Trend Winds, Echoes of Etheria. When we last left off, I had just conquered the final, final arena matches. Secrets and otherwise. Um, what should I buy? Maybe I should buy some more agility now. This time I'll feed it to Eskandar. Let's see, Eskandar, you have the least hit points, so that goes to you. Uh, Vitality goes to you. Give you some more agility. Dexterity goes to Lucian. Magic. Forget who it uh, goes to you, right? Yeah, your, your turrets just wrecked all sorts of face in there. Capacity? Probably Ingrid, but we'll we'll hold on to that for right now. Oh, formation, yeah. Let's not forget that. Forget which way it was. I think it was that way. Let's see, do I need to change anything else? Um, probably don't need these for a boss fight. Welcome to the end of an era, and the beginning of a new one. I am relieved you've arrived in one piece. These Denari Conclave buffoons managed to put up quite a fight, hmm? Not really. That most of it was just farming. It was you. Their resistance seemed to end unexpectedly. You stopped them. That's correct. I had a score to settle. And now that they're all dead, and their machinations destroyed, my journey can come to an end. For so long I have been forced to live, knowing that she has been under their control, being warped into a tool of their petty ambitions, treated like a resource. That shard is a life form? That means the other shards. Oh. So now we meet the big kahuna, huh? She was the greatest of us. Together with me, we were destined for the ultimate state of sentience, to transcend the shackles of physics, even mortality, and the rest of our people were to follow. Our lives, our mission, our civilization cut short by the actions of a people driven by misguided ideologies, reckless and paranoid. And you are one of these shard beings, huh? From what I understand, you're every bit as human as I am. A failed prototype, Subject Zero. Just how badly do they scramble your brain? Believe what you will, Lucien. I do understand you have your own score to settle with me. I'm not the only one. <sighs> Is that so? So, huh? You've gone to great lengths to be reunited with your mate. But this is all that remains of her. What is to be gained from all this? Come closer, Soha. Open up your senses fully. This is not a corpse. This shard is... a cocoon. 
she is hibernating. Hibernating? So she's aware of all this? I am not sure. But there is an ocean of emotion locked away in that shard. So, an all-powerful being survives some cataclysm and goes into hibernation, later to be harnessed for energy, used to kill and destroy and weave all sorts of badness. Might I suggest we not fiddle around with her for a while? Give her some time to cool off, eh? So, uh, are you hearing me? I do not think it'll be that easy, dear Ingrid. Of course not. So what's the problem, kids? Why don't you tell us you're in-game, Cormag? Not much time left now. The psycho is coming to its full resolution before our very eyes. So, uh, everything I've done ever since the wedding, it has led up to this moment. I have protected you, sustained you, paved the way for fate to bring us together. My body, it is but a vessel, and so too is your own. You are the one who will service her vessel to make things right again. Only our combined effort can complete our ancient mission. Your suffering has been real. I can feel the longing between you and Adori Metra. No one should have to walk alone in this world. Poor Meg. But how do I know you will not simply mislead me as you have all along? You know he will mislead you. Ever hear the story of the scorpion and the frog? Time to let this scorpion swim on his own for once. Her awakening cannot be contained any longer. Centuries of rage threaten to overtake us all. There is an incredible force building up. What have you done, Cormag? This was set into motion the moment Sigmund's ancestors decided to use us as weapons to fuel humanity's endless appetite for war. And now, history will repeat itself. Metra, show this world the power of creation! Metra is reaching into the flesh of the world, preparing it for the end of all things. Can't you stop it? What's to be gained from destroying everything? I can stop it. Please, step aside. So, uh, you can't possibly go through with... Have you all not noticed that I am, like Cormag, another failed experiment? I sustain myself by taking the life of others, and each time it becomes easier. I feel less and less remorse as I crave ever more. If I die because of this, the world will be rid of more than just one monster. What the heck? Don't be so dark. Anything's possible with Ingrid and science. We can figure out how to fix you right up after this. You two will all perish soon unless I do this. Please, let me concentrate. It needs to be will, not well. Overwhelming. I can see everything. Everywhere. I am the last one. They have killed or harvested everyone else. And for what? They will destroy themselves with such recklessness. The ascension is imminent. This is me controlling it right now. And like last time, I can't use escape or anything to see its stats. <laughs> this is the end. 
the usurpers are defeated. There is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The ascension is the natural evolution of our people. It is unfortunate that the preservers have set out to stop it. The ascension is about understanding, not domination. It is through the way of peace that our people have unlocked the secrets of creation. Please, our way of life, this unique gift, our entire civilization hangs in the balance. Adora Metra, I ask for one final appeal to peace. The Ascension, you are not deserving of such a gift. You who would simply leave this universe rather than seek to master it. Your secrets will be mine, Prometheus. No longer will our internal glory be stunted by you and your kind. I am sorry, Adora Metra. I cannot allow this. Checkmate. It is done. Our world will not be destroyed today. I saw into the past, a being on the cusp of transcending the boundaries of the physical universe, the Ascension, cut short by the actions of those with profound evil in their hearts. You can see all that, huh? Weren't you just planning on calming down our angry dormant demigod friend here? Yes, dear Ingrid, and that I have. You have been close to unlocking this mystery for some time, little one. There was a being, they called him Prometheus. Through centuries of evolution, he and his tribe had advanced so far that mastery of the physical universe was a trivial matter. Adora Metra was the leader of the rival faction called the Preservers. They zealously and religiously pursued the destruction of Prometheus and his people. Dissension was seen as an affront to all things sacred. They nearly succeeded. Aided by Cormac's shrewd planning, Adora Metra managed to acquire the hidden knowledge of the Ascension. Just as Prometheus sacrificed himself to destroy their entire civilization. What we have left are these shards, cocoons of dormant consciousness. Right. The shard at Giovanni's lab, the one at Sayuna Treasury, you and Cormag harvested those. We got the one in Lucian's sword, and then... Cormag used their gathered power to trigger the awakening of Adora Metra, the most significant of the shards, just as I expected. And now you've basically absorbed all of them. All the power that Viridia wielded, the ability to float this place, the ability to create ethereal clones. The ability to destroy cities in one stroke. Yes, all that power is mine now. No country, no army, no one will be able to stand against me. Well, good for you. But after we give Cormag the boot, what then is left to stand against you? Evil is all around us, my friends. The seat is the shield behind which the darkness lies, and now my mind has extended outward. I can already feel the hearts and minds of thousands, in moments, millions, everyone everywhere. Now I wish you all could understand. Try to imagine peeling back layers of one person's mind, and truly understanding the darkness within. Amplify that by all the minds on this world, it is both torturous and enlightening. Now, imagine you have the power to cleanse all these minds. That has become my reality, my friends. Um, I'm not sure I'd like where this is going. Fair queen, I implore you, please search your feelings before you act. I was once tempted by unbridled power and I was struck down. So, uh, is that all you in there? You don't sound like yourself. Come on, snap out of it. Please keep still. This will be temporary and it is for your protection. Every bit of them turned to stone. Prometheus was defeated in the end. This universe is ours, Metra. Ooh.
what's happening to me? You know, I never really liked Soha, and now I have even less reason to like her. The evil and the wretched no longer have a place to hide. With a snap of my finger, whole armies vanish, and all who dissent are judged and destroyed. Justice and order have come, and will remain for eternity. Metra, you have barriers around your mind. After so many hundreds of years, would truly you shut yourself off to me? No, this cannot be. Soha? Ugh! No! What have you done? Oh, if only you knew how severely you have underestimated me. Adora Metra is just a part of me now. You see, you're just a facsimile yourself, Cormac, much like Lucian's Life Fury Sword. A recreation based on blueprints, legends of the past. So too am I. But this time, the facsimile has become what the legend could not. When you betrayed me in the vaults of Sayuna, I unlocked the secrets of your mind. I learned everything about Odori Metra, the ascension I saw into your heart. But do you remember hearing a voice calling out to you from the darkness? That voice was my own, dear Cormag. You and everyone else have acted, and all of these events have unfolded exactly as I expected. Ah, uh, so that voice I've been reading, you know, when I started with Giovanni's voice and so forth, because I didn't know who it was. So I was supposed to be reading that in Soha's voice, apparently. It seems even you can be manipulated. No? You will serve as my archangel, an instrument of war in my new age of eternal order and harmony. Urgh. No, not now. Well, that is a relief. I had chalked it up to a sudden case of arthritis. Everyone alright? Yup, but there is the whole matter of prom queen up there. Good gravy, I warned you guys about this. I know you can all hear me. There's still a little bit left of me, please. We must coordinate our efforts and destroy my body. Centuries of accumulated darkness and hatred have overwhelmed my heart and will be realized in a tyranny that will last until the end of time. Soha. Are you really- This form will grant your fellowship power and you know what we must do. This has been set into motion far before any of you existed. You cannot possibly stem this unstoppable tide. Cormag? Are you really so far gone? We have a score to settle, but you still have a chance to redeem yourself and help us now. Lucian, you are a golden retriever in human form, don't you see? Prom Queen just pulled the bamboozle of the century on everyone, even Cormag. His mind is fried, kid. Enough. And my mission is to defeat the enemies of Soa. You are impurities which must be eliminated. Soha. I've got my formation. She looks like a hologram. Scattered gear. That's good. i guessing we're ready. I don't think there's anything I need to do. Countdown to zero. The Arc de Nera's full power has been unveiled. The disparate people of the world have awoken to the gravity of the situation. We must break into the Arc de Nera by any means possible before it rearranges the face of the world forever.
I find it suspicious I can attack any of them. Maybe it's because I need to. I don't know. Okay, the game heavily lagged on that one. His life force has grown stronger! Even though we have destroyed one of his crystals, he has absorbed his latent energy. We'll have to be careful and wise about those crystals. Alright, so uh, destroying them makes them stronger. That's kind of what I... That's kind of... Alright. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too surprised. Oops, I meant to attack... Oh, uh, he actually hurt me. Can I move him around? <laughs> Let's try. No. Maybe I... Did I pick the wrong spell? I may have picked the wrong spell. Temporal Modulator. Oh, I should have... Ooh, you know what? Hmm. Would I get two of those? If I had equipped the, 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 the Gift of Fortune, would I have gotten two of those? Well, let's keep going for right now. Because I'm assuming this is the end game. But if I lose... If I lose this next fight, I'm going to try equipping two, my Gift of Fortune and see if I get two Temporal Modulators. No! Not when we are this close. Ugh. No matter. It's too late. The psych was almost finished. So, uh, take my life. We'll manifest together, and what becomes of this world will be inconsequential. You will rebuild from its ashes. I wonder if that stacks. We'll see. Uh, is there anything else I need? I can't think of anything. 